Hello student, myself Ryan Devanti. In a previous video, we already discussed the Benchimeter demo. Now we need to do the experiment. So, going through the Benchimeter experiment, first of all, what is the aim of the experiment? The aim of the experiment of a Benchimeter is to find the coefficient of discharge of a Benchimeter. So, going through this finding coefficient of discharge, first of all, we have a formula of the coefficient of discharge find is q actual by q theoretical. So, what is q actual? What is q theoretical? q actual is a actual discharge, and theoretically, you can find the theoretical discharge. The difference is a coefficient of distance. So from this venture we can find this. So when we are starting to go through this, first of all you know how the experiment will be. Look at here. When the motor will be run, this is a super supply of motor. When your motor run, the venture meter will be filled with water. And the pressure difference will be come through this. The pressure will be come through this. And look at here, the other pressure value is there. When the mercury level will be increases and water level will be there, from this equilibrium or equilateral line you can find the difference of the both of the two and you can using this difference you can use the theoretical manner of discharge you will use this formula next of all this is your valve which will be closed when before you start the experiment the main point is you close the, all the valve and clear all the valve and fill the tank of three fluids when you will be open this it will be take a stopwatch for experiment valley after getting stopwatch you will be on the stopwatch and look at here look at the reading getting of 100 mm uh, i will using 100 mm you can use also 200 mm the time i using 100 mm 100 mm means 10 cm you look at this this is a lower level to here so this is a 32 there so you can use this 32 uh, ton, sorry 20 up to 20 you can use the level of water that is a 100 mm uh, using of 100 mm you can find the uh, you can find the time using of time and the rise of water using this you can find the actual distance of uh, how actual distance find the actual distance formula is a into r by t so t is your time what is you to find and r is your rise of water that is 100 mm you already consider here and a is the area of the tank so using this area of the tank already given in your data so using this you can find the experiment okay, this is your actual distance and from this height you can find the theoretical discharge Using this, you can find the CD. Okay, so now we will start the experiment. Look at here. Look at here. The valve is closed. I will open the valve. Now open. Look at this. This is a mercury level. It will be increased. Using this difference, you can take a reading. Now observe a reading from this. Look at this, this is your 6 and the water level is if you go outside here, first of all, we will close this look at here the level of water will be given here we have the velocity look at here here is the inlet velocity, here is the export velocity when you will be control this valve using this control of valve you can find the difference of the height here. Using this height, you can theoretically find. It. Okay. Then after, I will completely open the valve. Now look at this valve. Look at here. This is the full drive. Okay. Hmm. This is your drive. This is no water is there. When you will open, you will collect the water and using this collect water ready, you can find the actual rise. Now opening the valve. Using a stopwatch here. Look at this reading up to 10, 10 mm or you can say 10 cm. If the level of water will be reached, this. Already reaches us 10 mm. Okay, the time will be taken up to 20 second here for reaching up 10 mm. Hmm. Look at that, they will increase up 10 mm. The time is here. 
20 seconds. Now we will find the two readings here. One is the difference of a head and another one is a range of water. From this using this both of two readings, that is you can find the, the actual discharge, you can find the theoretical discharge. Using of both you can find the position discharge. In the next video you can calculate the calculation in the video. Next video. Thank you to all of you.